Live from the Al Newharth Media Center, this is Coyote News. It's been 135 years since the WH Over Museum opened its doors to the community. The O Report's Devin Martin met with volunteers and members of the museum board to discuss what the museum means to the community. The words education and preservation mean a lot to the volunteers here at the WH Over Museum. The museum held its 135th anniversary Sunday evening, and volunteer at the museum, Evelyn Schlanker, said that setting up the event was rewarding. It was a little bit nerve-wracking, wasn't sure what we would put up in Slatwell Hall. Uh, you know, it was a fair amount of work, but it was worth it. Maxine Johnson, president of the board of the WH Over Museum, said that learning new things is always something that occurs at the museum. I think every time one of us takes a tour through the museum, we learn at least as much about what's here as the children who are on that tour do, and they get to a new appreciation of it. It's just, it's just a treasure. Larry Bradley, director of the WH Over Museum, said that there are numerous exhibits for visitors to see. We've organized the museum so that literally you walk through time from the very, very remote past up to the it's very recent years. past. So we include it all. As you can see, the WH Over Museum has a lot to offer the community and USD students. If you want to come and learn more about all things South Dakota and its culture, feel free to visit the WH Over Museum. For The Oat Report, I'm Devin Martin. is free to students and the community.